everybody, this is Matt, back with another Engineering Lab video. Uh, doing some more testing with my new oscilloscope, um, testing the uh, serial decode capabilities. Uh, so I'll show you what I got for a test setup today. So I have two Arduino Nanos um, communicating with each other. Uh, they're communicating with each other via both SPI and I squared C. Uh, so the, the green lines there are the I squared C two wire protocol and the orange lines, you see four lines there. That's the uh, the clock, uh, Mosey, Miso, and um, what's the other one? Chip Select. So um, just to show you what we got here on the scope, uh, we have bouncing between Hello World and I squared C decode are our two messages. And uh, we're sending a packet in about uh, so 100 microsecond per division times 10. So then I can uh, zoom out here just to illustrate. Uh, so one thing that I really found with I squared C is you can zoom way out here. I'll zoom all the way out to one second. And I'll take a capture there. Of course, it'll take 10 seconds to capture this. But um, I guess it's probably based on uh, the baud rate that I have set for. Okay, so I have it in dot, dots mode here. That's why it looks so messed up. Uh, I was doing some testing, so let me put it back in vector mode. So you can see, you know, zoomed out to one second per division and then zoomed all the way in here. You know, we're, we're at 100 microsecond time scale per or per division and uh, it still decodes it just fine and um, if I zoom back out again just so that uh, you can see what's in the uh, what's in the queue there so I guess there's uh, it looks like there's I don't know a dozen packets or so um, I can go to the next page here I can pull it so the list is already up. Um, I can hit this knob. And if I want to, I can quickly scroll through all of the packets. Um, and you're able to see, actually, that kind of went pretty quickly. Let me uh, just scroll this way. Just, just to show that, uh, you know, zoomed all the way out like that, there wasn't a single packet that got uh, decoded incorrectly. All right, so uh, we'll zoom back in there. I'll put it back in normal mode. And now we're going to change this over to SPY. I'm going to change my uh, signals over here. from the I squared uh, C data line over to uh, one of the, I don't remember if it's Meso or Mosey, and then from clock over to clock. And now uh, if I go back to the scope, so it is in normal mode. If I center and zoom in here, so there's our spy messages. So it's bouncing back and forth between Hello World and Spy Decode. And again, so what I found is, uh, so we're on a five microsecond per division. So, uh, you know, even, even less than I think the I squared C was. And what I found here is that uh, I can get out to about 100, I believe it's 100 milliseconds per division. If I do a single shot there, so based on my wait times in the in the code, okay. So even there, if I look at the uh, if I look at the list there, it looks like it missed some packets. Oops. So if I scroll through the list, yeah. So it didn't catch everything there. So I'm going to zoom into 50 milliseconds. We'll try that again. Okay, so that time it looked like it caught everything, but of course, 
based on my wait times in uh, in my code, it only caught one packet. So I can bring my time base over here, capture it again. Now at this point, you should see, so there's spy decode in the list, and there's hello world in the list. And if I uh, bring it back to the center and zoom in, you can kind of see why uh, you know, I'm not able to zoom out any further than that uh, 50 millisecond time frame because already zoomed out from there, capturing and then zoomed back in. I'm starting to lose a lot of resolution in the uh, in the capture. Okay. Um, so this is kind of what I get going for uh, for Arduino code. Um, I can post a link to this. Uh, in, I, I'll post a GitHub link uh, in the description below. But basically, on the left here, you have the sender um, program. And then on the right, you get the receiver program. And basically the way this works is the, uh, for the sender program on the I squared C side, it basically requests a packet from the, uh, from, I guess I'm calling it the receiver, but it, it requests a packet from the, I should call it the slave. Um, and then the slave responds with a packet and that's what you see here. So this is the slave re responding hello world and I squared C every other time. Um, and then as far as spy goes, uh, the sender on the, or the master on the left um, is the one sending the spy packet and the slave on the right is the one receiving it. And that's where you can see it being printed to the uh, serial monitor there as well. Now it looks like it's missing. Uh, I just saw a hello go by with one L. So I don't know. I might have a, uh, the serial print um, baud rate here, which is, of course is just for the serial monitor to the screen. It has nothing to do with the packet actually getting sent across, but it's possible that's stepping on the, uh, it's, I guess it's possible that the packet going across is actually stepping on the serial monitor. So anyhow, uh, it, it works enough to uh, test the function of the scope. Um, and again, happy with the uh, new scope purchase. So now I've seen uh, the UART work, the SPY work, and the I squared C work. So uh, yeah, content with it. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.